Coach, you said after the game against Valley United that you didn't see the same tenacity and this kind of speed that you saw against San Antonio. How would you describe that tonight? You see a return to form, in a sense? Yeah, uh, look, LA Galaxy 2 plays really nice football. Their rotations uh, from like a 4-3-3 into a 3-2-4-1 and how they overload in the middle and, and break you down. In the first half, our effort to stop that and to force them to play wide, I thought was very good. The guys were really hungry, but I think what you saw is three games in a week, uh, it, it's taken its toll. And then having to play 120 minutes on Wednesday, coming out in the second half was really hard. But, you know, look, true to form, uh, the guys, they gave up the goal, and, and I, I think they turned it up another notch. So I'm proud of them. We still have some things to fix, though. Can you go more into that? Because 68th minute, give up the goal, kind of, what did you, yeah. if you got the opportunity to speak to your team, what did you tell them, what did you want to see from them? I was really disappointed in the way they got the goal because it was just a straight long ball over the top. Lambert went to challenge for it and there wasn't enough support behind him. So when he, when they're fighting for the ball, it kind of breaks loose. We have too many guys standing around the ball and, and not really committing to, to win the tackle. So that, if I could have said anything, it would have been, you know, we've got to really be hungry and aggressive in, in those moments. And um, But again, they, they sorted it out, did a very, very good job, very professional. And um, it, that's the type of performance that we're going to have to get used to. How instrumental is Luis when he's in that midfield three? Uh, he's extremely experienced. He's very, very calm on the ball. He's, I mean, he can strike it obviously very well. Um, but we asked him today to play as a deep lying midfielder and a lot more defending. Um, and he doesn't, he doesn't even hesitate. You know, it's uh, he's like, sure, coach. I'm, I'm used to it. I played 50 games for Venezuela there, and um, so I'm so happy for him and. You know, I, we had a cup of coffee a couple of weeks ago, and it feels like it's really paying off now. When you look then um, in the second half, late on, you, you made a change, looked like you had five at the back. What was the kind of technical reason behind that? Fatigue. Yeah, you know, the guys were getting a bit tired, and we didn't want to have any gaps between the fullback and the center back. So by going to three in the middle, uh, it helped Darnell and, and Ryan. They could be a little more aggressive out wide. And then uh, it also allowed the, the midfield to kind of clog up. We didn't care about possession at that point. It didn't matter. You were up 2-1 late in the game. Uh, and then to get the third, you, you, it was great. It was per Everything worked out. We've seen Joey put a lot of minutes in uh, this past week. How has that been managing that? Farrell? Yeah. Oh, man. They, like, he's a center back and a warrior. He, he'll play every minute if he could. And, uh, I never doubt him. I never. It's hard because we've got some really good players. Moose is going to come back from injury very soon. Uh, Babu's on the mend. I, I think he'll be back in training next week. Uh, Santi is is a miracle recovery from what I would say a grade one or two ankle sprain. He's he was already jogging yesterday, so uh, maybe it's only two weeks for Santi. But we've got a lot of injuries. A lot of guys that are going to make this team better, and the competition will be fantastic. How important, how important would you say this result is as a confidence boost going into two games against the rival in quick succession? Um, everybody's a rival for us. You know, everyone wants to beat Phoenix Rising. You get to come here and play on the best field in the league. You get to play in front of the best fans in the league. It's who doesn't want to play here? And uh, for us, we have to get up for it. We have to understand that every time we take the field, it doesn't matter who we're playing. It's going to be extremely difficult and we've got to be ready for it. And I, I think these guys are starting to figure that out.